As we can see, there are strong disagreements in this subject. What do you think about Israel today? Today, I think about the way that Christians often use the idea of chosenness to make it sound like God cares about Israeli Jews, but doesn't care about Palestinians. But in, in so doing, we end up creating another atrocity in the horrible treatment uh, that, that the uh, Palestinian who, Christians and Muslims uh, are experiencing in the land of Israel today. God is neither a racist or a land broker, which is to say that God does not put people on different footings. Throughout the entire Bible, God has had one covenant community made of people from every tongue and tribe and language and people and nation. He is not a Jew which is one outwardly. He's a Jew which is one inwardly. It's those of us that believe in Jesus Christ that are Israel. Dual covenant theology is basically people saying that, that God, it, it, God has a separate covenant with the Jewish people and that covenant is Fine. There are some major teachers in the land that are internationally known teachers that, that teach that. Tele-evangelists such as John Hagee ignore the clear teachings of the New Testament. The man, the church, the nation that blesses the state of Israel, the Jewish people, will be blessed beyond measure. Blessing Israel doesn't just mean, so well, I bless you. Yeah. You have to stand with them in the route of need. So today's evangelical Christianity is saying that we must bless Israel if we want God to bless us. Yet 2 John teaches that if we bless those who deny the Son of God, we are a partaker of their evil deeds. Dispensational theology says the natural seed of Abraham outside of Christ and without his word is God's chosen people. Jesus said, you that's outside my word are of your father the devil. Who is the liar but the one who denies that Yeshua is the Christ? Let me ask you something. The Jews today over in Israel, do they deny Yeshua is the Christ? Absolutely. Show me in the New Testament where it says that I have to bless Jews, unrepentant Jews. All Jews are holy people. It means basically that you've been marked out for God's purposes. The theology preached by Pastor Hagee and his followers is known as Christian or Biblical Zionism. Well, Biblical Zionism is, uh, the short answer is the belief that the Abrahamic covenant, either in part or in full, has never been abolished. I don't believe Christian Zionism is a heresy, uh, and I think that we need to be careful with, with language like that. Christian Zionism which much of the church Christianity holds to today is blasphemy. Uh, the first thing I'd say is that God's covenant with the Jewish people is perpetual. It's uh, irrevocable, Romans 11.1. 1. I ask then, has God rejected his people? Absolutely not. So you can see throughout the whole uh, Bible, there is the promise and also there is a condition. And the promise is conditional and the promise is never perpetual. Scriptures say the diametric opposite of what Dr. Awad has said. There's not one verse in the Bible that says the promises of God are conditional. The church has not replaced Israel. The church has been grafted into Israel. Romans talks about the Gentiles being grafted in. The question is, what have we been grafted into? We have been grafted into the olive tree of Israel. The root of the olive tree mentioned here in Romans 11 is not Judaism. How do we know that? Well, because the branches were cut off because of unbelief. But the roots thereof are the covenants and the promises of God. They're not the Jewish people. So clearly the example cannot be pointing to Judaism. Most people would like to see the Jewish people as the whole tree, but yeah. that's, that's not right. Because the enemy is using brothers and sisters in Christ in the church, leading theologians, authors, Bible, teachers, pastors. Who are you going to believe, church? Are you going to believe Jesus or Clarence Larkin, Schofield, Darby? And I was in the presence of Arafat and Sizer when that photograph was taken. That sums up Christian Palestinianism. Christians in the church today who are on an anti-Israel, pro-Palestinian crusade. 
Christian Zionists are re-erecting that barrier, just as the Israelis are building a barrier around the Palestinian ghettos. The land of Israel is bequeathed to the Jewish people as an everlasting possession. Strictly look at the Bible and look at its borders, I see the parameters that go further north than what it is now, even up to Damascus. But I do believe in the end, when God, which I believe will establish his kingdom on this earth, there will be a return to those borders. Don't be obsessed with a parcel of land. Uh, and don't think there's more to be fulfilled in the parcel of land. It's all fulfilled in Jesus. When you think about Israel, think about, think about Jesus, because he's the walking, talking Israel. I could not disagree more. That property was given to them by a mandate from God himself, and it belongs to them. The Palestinians have absolutely no claim to it, not ever. It is, the, it is the greatest historical fraud in the history of humanity. In Genesis 15, he gives the borders of the land. They've never possessed that land. And so if they don't ever possess that land, then what God said is not true. All right, he's not dealing with a literal land. He's dealing with a spiritual land. The Bible says in, in Hebrews chapter 11 that Abraham wasn't looking for a physical land. He looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Was it a literal scattering from the land? It will be a literal regathering to the land. Otherwise, words have no meaning whatsoever. Israel is going to be regathered to the land, the Bible, because they'll, they'll say, well, Israel, they, they don't believe in the Lord. You know, they have no right to be there because they're in unbelief. Even in unbelief, God's gifts and callings to Israel are irrevocable. Ezekiel says that he's going to draw them back into their own land in unbelief, yes, right. and then the scales will fall from that's their right. eyes. I've read Ezekiel many times and taught through it verse by verse. I've never seen that passage in Ezekiel. The future of Israel is a period of great tribulation that will bring the Jews to the end of themselves, but the pouring out of God's wrath will be followed by showering of His glorious grace. Well, if you really believe this is a fulfillment of Bible prophecy, uh, then what you ought to be doing is telling the Jews to get out of Israel because all the Jews who will remain in Israel, according to dispensationalism, two-thirds of them are going to be killed during the period of the Great Tribulation. The Great Tribulation, it's going to be another Jewish Holocaust. The tribulation will be so severe and extreme that if it weren't cut short, no flesh would survive. I mean, it's, you know, we're looking at two thirds of the Jewish people being cut off and perishing in that time, according to Zechariah. When they escape, they will look over their shoulder and see their fellow Jews who didn't believe the warning being slaughtered. They will then know it was the prophecy of Jesus that saved their lives. So 2,000 years, God's going to deal with Israel again, His beloved people, and then He's going to let two-thirds of them be slaughtered during the Great Tribulation. That makes absolutely no sense at all. I did warn you that I was a little passionate about this. Uh, but can you now see how it is that the idea to be obsessed with what's going on with a particular nation is just taking a huge step backward? Would you call it heresy? It's absolute heresy. Yeah, it's bla I would go as far as to say it's blasphemous because you're, right. you're misrepresenting the very heart of God. In my humble opinion, all of the hubbub about Israel and, and, and the land stuff and trying to block the peace process and chasing after four moons is nothing but a big distraction. I think it makes Christians look kind of silly in the eyes of uh, people that were supposed to be winning to Christ. Theologically, Christian Zionism is a Christian aberration. I would even say more than that, it's a Christian heresy.